Welcome to find the output of C program video series. This is example number 15. In this program, there are three variables of type integer are declared. Two of them are defined with initial values. That is i is equal to minus 4 and num is equal to 10 and j is just declared as integer with no value in this case. Next this expression will be evaluated the value of this expression will be assigned to j here after that the value of this expression will be once again assigned to j and finally the value of j will be displayed here so we need to find what is the value of j after evaluating all these particular four statements now uh, the evaluation starts at this particular stage because this is just a declaration of different variables and initialization of some of the variables the value of i is uh, minus 4 so it will become minus 4 mod minus 3 in this case which is equivalent to we have a uh, minus on both the side of this particular uh, modulus operator we cannot cancel these two minus operators here what we need to do in C programming language is do the normal modulus operator without considering this uh, minus sign it will become 4 modulus 3 which is equivalent to 1 in this case and then the sign for this result will be the numerator sign the numerator in this case is uh, minus 4 so it will be minus 1 in this case so once again first what we do here is uh, we will Whenever we have minus on a numerator and a denominator with modulus operator, there is it, is it should not be cancelled in this case. First, what we need to do is without considering this particular sign, we calculate the modulus operator. Whatever the remainder we will get to that one, the sign of the numerator will be assigned. The sign of the numerator in this case is minus. So in this case, it is minus 1 here. That is j is equal to in this case, it will be minus 1 next again this minus 1 is used in this conditional statement so minus 1 is nothing but the true because anything other than 0 is considered as true in C programming language so j is equal to minus 1 minus 1 is true because minus 1 is true this one will be written to us that is 0 will be written in this case if j is equal to 0, num star num will be written, that is 10 into 10, 100 would have been written. Because j is equal to minus 1, minus 1 is true, because j is true, 0 will be written in this case. So, the final answer in this case is 0 here. So, one thing we can understand from this particular program is, how to calculate the mod whenever we have minus on numerator and denominator as well as anything other than zero is considered as true in C programming language. The positive numbers or negative numbers all of them are considered as true only zero is considered as negative number. I hope this particular concept will help you for your placement preparation as well as for your competitive exam preparation. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.